Hello YouTube, this is uh, step one for your assembly, but before we start, I want to show you, uh, I just grabbed this random piece, uh, easier way to get this plastic off. All I did is I dipped my finger in some warm water and uh, just rubbed that on there, and then what it does is it lets you get the corners a little bit, and then let that soak and it makes it a lot easier to get that plastic off. It's, it took like 15 minutes to get it off of that and of course it's on both sides and one side will typically be kind of like wrinkly and come off really easy and then the other side will be almost like precision cut and um, be very hard to get a corner on it but that rubbing the water trick on there seems to work really well so other than that let's get started now I've laid out the first step one pieces. Got these two large triangle pieces. You can spot this because your screen goes in it, and that's your base, and they're pretty unique looking pieces. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is realize that these go in the back, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Move this out of the way. And that's what I was talking about in the back. Um, you can, uh, I don't know, these are pretty symmetrical, so I don't think there's any wrong way to do this. Um, there's just those three squares. There's only one way you can put that piece on there. Um, and just have that plate on the front. And again, this main stand goes in the back. Okay, you're going to get some... Uh, this bag here is going to say M3, they're all M3s, and it's got the 18, so you need those, and you'll need the one, these just say M3 on them. These are the nuts, and those are the screws there. Okay, unfortunately there's no good way to do this, you're just going to have to, at least that I don't know, of, um, what you have to do, I put one screw in here and I'll show you how to do it one time um, and then it's just a repeat process. You have to put the nut inside this little slot right here. The problem is this is a slot. It's kind of a balancing act. Then uh, you want to take your screwdriver and your screw Screw it in. And you don't want to over tighten it, it's just got to hold it snug there. So, here's what it looks like from the front. I've got two of them done. You're just going to do the same thing on these two and these two. Unfortunately, there's no any easy way that I can find to do this. What seems to work uh, well is I put my finger on this side. If you're lucky, you'll get the nut through the hole in the first shot. Which, like, this is what happens a lot of times. It just fights you. And it's not made out of a... I used a, tried to use a magnet on it. These are aluminum nuts, so it doesn't work. But it seemed to work best if I slide the nut in on this side and then put the screw in and then just go on it. But I'm going to have to fight with this one. It's there's You're just going to have to... <laughs> As one guy put it, is it's a rite of passage assembling this thing. Okay, got the four screws there. And, um, you know, the nuts went on that side. And so uh, you're ready to repeat the same thing on the other side with the other ramp. So you have both sides looking like that. Just in case it's not clear, it's those inner row of squares right there that I'm putting these in. 
just taking the side and dropping it in. Okay, at this point you got the screws assembled in the front there, right below the little square deals. Same right there. And what we're going to do is just put on the faceplate. Again, that goes on the front. And um, you'll notice the buttons right there will go on the right hand side. Alright, on this uh, plate here, the flat part of this goes towards the bottom just like this is flat down here and again your buttons on the right there you go and then You just want to put the um, side screws in here, and I already placed them in there. Just have those two there, and it screws on like the bottom piece. You just come in through the front, put two screws in there, and do the same on the other side. Okay, at this point you're done. Uh, just get those uh, four screws there on both sides there, and then. Uh, the two on the top, and again the flat bar on the bottom there, and of course flat bar on the bottom there, and again the buttonholes for the screen to the right. And with that you're finished with step one.